morning you guys it's Karen and I thought I would come and do a little garden get ready with me so I'm in my back garden in the arbor that I bought in memory of my dad you can see there's a little plaque behind me um, but I did this before and it was quite nice with the natural daylight you know so I don't know how it'll be today I feel like I look pretty pretty good in there um, lighting wise so we'll see um, I might mention some of the products I'm using as I go along but I thought I'd just do a chit chat so if I don't mention a product I'll link it in the description um, but this is the ordinary coverage foundation and mine is in 1.2 n and I'm just using my real technique sponge it's actually quite dry but I don't mind that and I'm already realizing one of the things I haven't done is got a mirror to use my round mirror it's not here so I'm probably going to need to grab it or will I use this one got another one that kind of stands up that might be okay yeah that'll be okay so the kitchen is still ongoing you guys know I've been having a new kitchen done and it took four weeks until we were able to move back in and it it's still not finished it has just been a nightmare from beginning to end um, so we moved back in and knowing that there was still a couple of things that needed doing the guy that did the mastic around the edges you know to seal the tiles to the worktop didn't do a very good job so somebody's coming back to replace that um, the dishwasher moves around within its housing you know it's a built-in one and so the guy needs to come back and fix that he was supposed to be here yesterday but he didn't turn up um, the joiner made a hole in one of the tiles that we have and so the tiler had to come back last night he wasn't very amused he had to come back and to take one tile out where there was just a drill hole in the middle of it um, so yeah there's still a lot ongoing with the kitchen but at least we can use it you know at least we're no longer in the in the living room like a little studio flat you know um, so it's been really nice to move back in and use it we've got our dining table and chairs in there and um, yeah it's all good there's a few things that I'm like oh, that I would change um, I'm not sure what I would do about the storage I, I feel like I've got only a tiny bit extra storage even though there's extra worktop space and cupboards because some of the cupboards are quite deep uh, sorry some of the the drawers of the cupboards yeah some of the drawers in the cupboards are quite deep and it means that there's just the same amount of space and I didn't get any extra shelves with them apparently you can't order extra shelves because of the weight load um, so we're going to figure something out I'm sure you know and put some extra cupboards in there somehow extra shelves sorry um, and like silly things like I would have got I should have got a shiny glossy worktop because ours is matte and although it looks lovely I'm realizing it's hard to sort of wipe things off and it it just it marks very easily you know um, but I still feel very lucky to be able to have um, you know a new kitchen it's actually quite cool out the back here which I am so glad about because it has been so warm and I hate it I absolutely detest it when it's so warm. This is my Niod, um, my beloved Niod. Um, Photography Fluid 8% is basically a bronzer. I'm using this brush here, which is EB103, it's a Beauty Bay brush. And I just wiped some on top of here. I always think this makes such a difference though, that you hardly need any of it. And then it really brings some color back to your face. did do a self tan a couple of days ago would you believe I was telling my walker that I self tanned and she was like oh I never noticed and I was like yeah because I'm super super white if I don't take tan so I just brushed that down my cheeks before putting powder on oh actually I don't think I've got any powder in here if you need to be closer to seal this properly do you I might get you closer up when I'm doing um, my eyes uh, the makeup I'm doing today is just really my I've got one of kind of three everyday makeup looks. Two of them are just using crayon pencils, so Laura Mercier or Kiko or whatever. And the other one is just using a matte, matte shadows. Um, so I'm probably just gonna use uh, some sort of colored pencil today. Uh, but I'm not going anywhere. I am, well I'll be taking Watson for a walk this afternoon just locally when he's back. 
Um, but apart from that, I'm not doing anything. Okay, brows. There's all sorts of things I could do with my brows, but when I want it to be quick, it's generally a pencil I use. So I've been using this Urban Decay brow blade and not using the, um, you know, the felt tip end. I would use that if I was going out or on YouTube or something. Something more important than just walking around here. <laughs> In fact, yesterday I didn't bother putting any makeup on. I do sometimes just give makeup a complete break because I feel like it then makes me more excited about it when I put it back on again, if you know what I mean. I can just get a bit fed up of the whole process. Not just of putting it on, but the whole taking it off, you know, it just takes up so much time. And obviously with migraines, I have limited time that I'm feeling healthy. Um, so. Okay, so health-wise, I feel like my health has just literally fallen apart lately. However, I also feel very lucky. I've just realised I'm putting that mirror right in front of the camera, and I... Yeah, I feel I'm very lucky because... You remember how I had the um, mammogram, and they found a lump, and I had biopsies, and after the... On the, on the day of the, the mammogram, she told me that she thought I had ductal cell carcinoma, so a type of breast cancer, um, and that I would need surgery and possibly radiation. So that was a shock, and then I had to wait for the results of the biopsy. When I got the results of the biopsy, it said it wasn't that. It was a thing called nodular adenosis, which is still painful, by the way, um, but it's something that mimics this ductal cell carcinoma. Um, right, let me find out what I'm using here. On the side of my bag, you know how I said I use my bag for makeup and skincare and everything, this sort of open nappy bag, but I have all my eye pens on the side there and so I normally just grab one. So I will use, where's this one, 04. This is a Kiko one, 04. Um, so this is basically a one eyeshadow look because um, I do sometimes put another colour in the crease, but um, I often just use the crayon, so that, let me get you a little bit closer. So anyway, um, obviously it was good that it wasn't anything serious and that sort of all passed. And then I have this heart thing. I've kind of got an ongoing heart thing. I already have an irregular heartbeat with, um, because of the Elis Danos, I think, but um, my heart rate was getting really high really high my resting heart rate and my blood pressure was kind of high again so the doctor sent me for an ECG um, which I, I mean I wasn't expecting that I was like oh okay why not uh, the last ECG I had was three years ago in 2019 so I went for this ECG and it came back as abnormal and that I have left ventricular ventricular hypertrophy which is an enlarged heart which means that it's not pumping efficiently. So I spoke to the GP about it and she had spoken to a cardiologist and basically what she said was they think the ECG for me is over-diagnosing and so they don't think that I do have left ventricular hypertrophy. So what she was saying was that my, my ECG in 2019 is exactly the same as my ECG now. This brush I'm using, by the way, it's Spectrum Brush 1, no, A12, it's really, really good for blending. Um, she said, but my ECG mimics that I have LVH because the last time I had it, this ECG, in 2019, they sent me for an echocardiogram I think it was an echocardiogram. It was a. I had an ultrasound and also I had all sorts of heart tests, and it came back that no, I didn't have this left ventricular hypertrophy. Um, so yes, yeah, she said there is something. There's a delayed something or other on my heart rhythm. Um, that and it makes it look like an abnormal. Well, it is an abnormal ECG, but it makes it look like this enlarged heart, but in fact it's not. So that's good, but I feel like I've got like, you know, I'm a cat with nine lives at the moment because you, you've got breast cancer, you don't have breast cancer, it just looks like it. You've got an enlarged heart, you don't have an enlarged heart, it just looks like it, you know. Um, but I'm still um, in the process of trying to even out my 
my blood pressure uh, because that is still too high. So I'm just using another brush. This is Zoeva 227. It's kind of like the, is it 227? Yeah, it's kind of like um, one by MAC actually that I used to always use, but I've thrown most of my MAC brushes out, if not all of them. So I'm just blending, blending, blending. I'm not worrying if I get my eyelid because I'm going over the eyelid again with this crayon as soon as I feel like this bit's blended. So that health worry is sort of over. I'm on, um, they're changing my medication to try and get my blood pressure under control and my heart rate under control. My heart rate is now a lot, lot lower. It was like, like my Fitbit alarm was going off telling me I was over 100 for more than 10 minutes and that's not a good thing, you know. So um, it's now like back into 70s and 80s, my resting heart rate, so that's good. So um, the candesartan that I'm on, which is my blood pressure medication, is may help with migraines as well, so that'd be really good if it does. Um, today is a pain relief day for me. I can take pain relief a couple of days a week. Today is one of them. So see what I did there? I just like blended everything out and then I'm going back in with this crayon just to put more color on the lid. And then I will only ever so slightly blend this out. Do you know, I was thinking any of the neighbors could hear me doing this everything I'm saying if it doesn't matter does that I suppose um, so migraine wise it's just as bad as ever um, and I wasn't actually going to do a video at all this week because I've got so much to do with like organizing the kitchen you know I need to I put everything back in the cupboards but I need to actually organize it properly and decide where everything goes now it's a different sort of layout and we need to like wash the tiles I need to paint the other half of the kitchen the dining room I need to peel stickers off the backs of the door you know there's a lot of sort of odd things that need to be done um, and I also need to groom Watson this week we've also got Kev's and dad's birthday this week so we're going out for um, a dinner tomorrow um, for his dad just find some eyeliner I do like my top eyeliner I must admit and I kind of like my flick if I can be bothered <laughs> um, so my eyeliner, Catrice, it's a Catrice eyeliner, 24 hour. Still never found anything as good as the e.l.f. one. Let me see if I can do this without getting the mirror in the way. So um, I don't know whether, how many of you guys have seen my video over on my Life as a Zebra channel, but I was saying on there how I'm not allowed to go on to go back on HRT because it makes my migraines worse. Oh, I never bought a tissue with me. I normally have a tissue or the cotton wool that I've used for my cleansing so that I can wipe my fingers on, you know, if I get eyeliner in the wrong place or whatever. Yeah, I can't have HRT because it makes my migraines worse. Well, so I put a video all about that up on Life as a Zebra and a lot of people are saying about going to see a specialist and that you can get um, HRT if you've got migraines and yada yada and the thing is I think it's been misunderstood what I was saying because I know that you can get it because I've already been on it I've been on the patches um, and they made my migraines worse but it, I realized that they made my migraines worse during a certain part of it during a certain part of the hormone but even in the normal estrogen phase it didn't improve my headaches Somebody will be listening because I can smell somebody smoking. Um, I'm just going to try and do a little flick. I do like my little flick, like I say. So, yeah, I, I could go and see a specialist. I have been given the option and I've put on a waiting list for a specialist, a menopause specialist. But my menopause symptoms weren't too bad until the last few days. <laughs> The last few days, the insomnia and my hot feet have just been unbearable. Hot feet doesn't sound like much, does it? But let me know if anybody else gets it. I have it at night. This mirror is not close enough for me to do my flick, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to do a tiny amount. I can't really see. My eyesight is so bad, I literally have to be really, really close up. I'll probably watch this back and be like, what the hell have you done? Yeah, I would normally do more of a flip like that, but I just I can't see. <laughs> um, the mascara I'm using, by the way, I'm still using that one that I showed you from um, 17. It's called Extreme Extension. I love it. And it's lasting really well, doesn't smudge, etc., etc. 
um, what was I saying? Migraines get worse. Oh yeah, the symptoms. So I just can't sleep. I go to bed and I cannot get to sleep and that's really unheard of for me because um, I'm on amitriptyline for headaches and bladder pain, et cetera, et cetera. And it normally just knocks me out, you know, and I sleep by sort of nine o'clock, but it's taken me hours. I'm not getting to sleep until sort of one, two o'clock in the morning. Um, and a lot of it is to do with this hot feet thing where my feet are burning and they're so painful. Um, I've been using Watson's Cool Mat and sticking it in the bed and putting my feet on it. And it, yeah, it's very, very sore. Um, so yeah, I might um, see what the menopause specialist has got to say, but I'm pretty sure they won't give me HRT. It might be other drugs, but not HRT, because it's specifically this research that the doctor was telling me why I can't have, have H HRT anymore, is that if HRT makes your migraines worse, you are at a much bigger risk of stroke. And so, although HRT is normally protective of the heart and the arteries and whatnot, it, this study showed that if you if it worsens your migraines you're at risk of stroke so it's not worth the risk but like I said a lot of people have been saying no oh, no no you can take HRT if you've got migraines and like, I know that but it's if they make your migraines worse which this did and even you know like I said on the normal bit they didn't make my migraines any better so um, right I'm going to use my made by Mitchell eyeliner in my upper waterline it's really good and it lasts really really well so yeah a whole bunch of health stuff going on um, I'm still trying to lose weight but I have been increased the medications I've been increased on are ones that you literally need to reduce your calories by 500 a day in order to stay the same weight so that makes things a lot more difficult because it's already difficult to lose weight you know let alone taking more calories off me see where I've looked down there <laughs> the mascara has gone up on my on my eye um, just need to wait for it to dry before I look down like that and smudge it like I said it doesn't matter I'm not going anywhere um, so that's health um, tomorrow I am is it tomorrow no not tomorrow Friday Friday I am going to have Botox I am very excited because um, I found a place that you can book online and Kev can drop me there you know it's always a problem with trying to find somewhere trying to get the right time where you know Watson doesn't need to walk or there's parking or you know that kind of thing um, and I just want to have my I'm just gonna have it done here maybe a little bit here um, that guy that I used to go to isn't does just doesn't have appointments when I can go do you remember I used to go to a guy that worked at the hospital that I used to work at um, but yeah it just doesn't have appointments anymore um, this is the flower beauty blush in sweet pea so I'm really excited about that because definitely my eyes are more hooded you know and it just I didn't want to have it while I was testing out that eye mask the LED eye mask because I thought well, that's you know I'm never going to be able to tell like if I had Botox and it lifted my eyebrows then that would make it look like the mask had done it and I didn't do a TCA peel either which I'm going to do over the next week or so I'm going to do another TCA peel um, so between that and my Botox it should make my eyes feel a little bit better they definitely feel you know I feel tired and it doesn't it doesn't specifically lift them but it just kind of holds them up a little bit like that um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to that I'm going to use this is the Victoria Beckham pencil but this is a brown one I can't remember the name of it I'm just going to use this under my eyes I this doesn't work at all in my waterline but it does seem to be does seem to stay underneath my eyes and I like the little smudger on the end I don't always do a line underneath I just thought I would today can't decide if I prefer it or not I think what put me off is when I do my wing one day Kev says to me why do your eyes look Chinese <laughs> I was like what and I think it's just it made them look too sort of thin you know it sort of need that bit of color underneath and I'm not even going to go in and put mascara on my bottom lashes either um, and then honestly I can't tell you the last time I wore lipstick I can't remember um, but I do sometimes just put a bit of this on this is this Kiko 
creamy lip gloss it's called and this one is in 102 just gives a little bit of color so yeah not very much and that is me done go back I think you'll get more like do you know I actually quite like wearing a hairband as well um, I just washed my hair and I just used the revolution um, lamella, lamella water and I used a conditioner by Drunk Elephant that I don't think much of but that's why I thought I'd use it with the revolution lamella water and yeah combined it does it does feel okay in my hair it does feel nice and soft We'll see how long it stays tangle free. It doesn't normally last for long. But yeah, I have to say, I think I prefer my headband. I end up wearing this headband, although it is for doing my makeup, I end up wearing it just all the time because it's just as perfect to keep your hair out of your face, you know? So that is one of my everyday looks. Um, I change it slightly just by, like I said, sometimes I'll put a crease color in, so it's slightly different. Um, sometimes I won't put this any color on the bottom. Sometimes I'll put black eyeliner on the bottom. Um, and that's pretty much my sort of go-to look at the moment. Um, I never used to have a go-to look. I used to just experiment every single day, but I'm less into experimenting now. I'm more into, I suppose, speed and, you know, just getting something done that I know I'm gonna like. And then the, the other look um, is the one, like I said, with matte eyeshadows that's sort of a bit more natural looking um so yeah i'll come back and do that one at some point i think i've told you everything that's going on there's a whole host of stuff going on with watson um, but he is all right at the moment he's just he's got another lump we've had it checked we're waiting for the results he's still his scar is still bleeding so we're still recovering from that last operation there's he's got problems with his joints and you know there's a lot of things that i need to do with him like i need to take him swimming and i need to increase his i need to use the red light on his joints um I need to use it on my own joints as well to be fair and um, we've booked a holiday we're going to attempt a holiday again you remember the last time we went Watson just it wouldn't eat and whatnot but we thought if we keep going back to the same place it's not too far away if he if he doesn't eat and he doesn't sort of settle in then we'll just come home again you know this video will take ages to edit one of the reasons I don't like I don't do these videos very often I have done an eye makeup one recently on Patreon um, but I don't do these very often because normally I just sit in my comfy chair in the living room in the morning and do my makeup with my cup of tea and I watch something trashy like Love Island is what I'm watching at the moment um, and if I film it there's just there's so much to, you know so many things to write in the description so much editing to do and it's just I find it a really difficult video to do but I know you guys were saying you'd like to see how I do my makeup so it's nice doing it out here, I have to say. It's nice sitting out in the garden. I'm on my phone now, so it'll be interesting to see the difference in the footage. By the way, this green has taken ages to fade. See how there's green in here? Apparently that's normal um, and it will fade over time. Um, I just come to show you that I literally just stick a little ponytail in my fringe there um, to get that out of my way because otherwise it's sort of, you know, right in my face, especially when I'm out walking Watson and picking up poop. That's the last thing we need. So um, anyway, that's all. I think you guys are all caught up. Um, I hope to see you soon. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll speak to you again soon.